And part of celebrating Earth Day is for all of us to have a better understanding of how the complex systems of our planet work. And while we may think of NASA as the people who rocket astronauts into space and send probes to other worlds, they actually have ongoing mission here exploring our planet. Dr. Kate Calvin is a senior climate advisor at NASA, here to explain how every day is Earth Day for NASA scientists. Dr. Calvin, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? Good, thank you for having me. All right, so my first question is, we think of NASA as a space program, but it actually monitors the Earth and explores our planet. What kind of projects do you have going and how do you monitor our planet? So one of our most important missions is our home planet, Earth. We use the unique vantage point of space to see Earth. We have more than two dozen satellites and instruments in orbit that can, um, that can look at Earth and see things like vegetation, clouds and precipitation, changes in the mass of ice sheets, and much more. And those satellites are an extremely valuable tool that I use almost on a daily basis to capture snapshots of our planet. And they could tell us an interesting story over time just by looking at pictures. So what have you noticed with our climate and those satellite imageries, uh, images changing over time? Yeah, so we've had satellites and instruments in orbit for decades. So we can see both the state of the Earth today and also how it's changed over time. And some of the changes we're seeing are increases in temperature, increases in sea level, uh, declines in Arctic sea ice. We're also seeing more extreme events like heat waves and wildfires and droughts. And those events, we're no strangers to in California, specifically the two that you just mentioned, drought and wildfires. So as you monitor from space, are you seeing a trend? Is this going to get better anytime soon or can we expect it to get worse? Well, so what the science tells us is that those events have increased over time and many of them will increase with more warming. So we'll see more heat waves, more wildfire weather. That's just unfortunate to hear, but it's a straightforward answer and something that many scientists across the planet agree on. So from California's standpoint, we're getting warmer. So that means more wildfires, more dry vegetation, and something at NASA, is there anything that you could do aside from just monitor? Are there any projects you have going on to mitigate the changes that we're seeing in our climate? Well, I think there's two things really relevant here. Um, so one is that we provide information in near real time to local responders, local governments, and others when they're responding to an event. So for something like a wildfire, we can show where fires are burning, burn perimeters and burn scars. We can also look at um, soil moisture and get a sense of a fuel for fire um, and emissions associated fire with fire and air quality concerns from that. In terms of mitigation, our aeronautics team has been working with the aviation industry for decades to try to reduce energy use and emissions in aircraft. And we have a lot of efforts going on there, including testing an all electric plane later this year. And like you were saying, we use that imagery so often when it comes to fire season. Last fire season, I was able to see exactly where the hot spots are for the major wildfires across the state of California. Dr. Kate Calvin, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for having me. All right, appreciate you.